Hey there, are you ready to make some serious cash online using AI? I think a lot of people think you need to be like a tech genius or something to use AI to make money. Right. But it's so much easier than it used to be. It really is. And today we're looking at how to use AI to create and sell digital products. That's right. And we're diving into this video by Alec, who claims you can make over $34,000 a month doing this. More than $34,000 a month. So obviously we had to see what he had to say. What's wild is he focuses on really simple products like, get this, his first idea is AI generated patterns. Okay, I got to be honest. When I first heard that, I was like, selling patterns online. Yeah. Like, I'm, who's buying that? My grandma's knitting group. Yeah. I thought the same thing. Mm. But he breaks down how these patterns are used for things like backgrounds for websites and printable wrapping paper, even fabric designs. Mm -hmm. It's kind of brilliant when you think about it. It is, yeah. These seamless patterns, as they're called, are in high demand. And they're digital, so you only have to create them once. Exactly. It's passive income. And that's where the AI comes in, right? Yeah. So Alec uses MidJourney to generate those images from text prompts. Oh, okay. But he's got this trick. Okay. He uses super specific keywords in his prompts to make sure those patterns repeat perfectly. Oh, smart. Like he wouldn't just type in floral pattern. He would say something like seamless repeating floral pattern, vintage botanical illustration style. Oh, so you really gotta be specific. Yeah, the AI is only as good as the instructions you give it, right? That's so true. And then to polish those AI generated patterns, he uses Photopea. And just as a reminder for anyone who's not familiar with it, Photopea is that free browser-based image editor. Yeah, like having Photoshop without the price tag. Exactly. And he even uses it to clean up those weird alien-looking texts that Midjourney sometimes adds. Yeah, it happens. Which is, I think, a good reminder that AI is a tool. It's not perfect. You always have to have a human touch in there somewhere. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's one idea. What's his next one? So his second idea is tapping into, well, this is a lucrative market. He's talking about wedding invitations, table numbers, thank you cards, the whole nine yards. And it's funny because he actually used to sell wedding templates on Etsy, and that's how he built his early success. Smart. He saw a need and he filled it. And that need is still there. Just look at shops like a Wild Bloom Printables. They've earned almost $1.6 million selling digital wedding resources. It's unbelievable. It just shows you the power of understanding your niche, right? It really does. And you don't have to be a design whiz to create these products either, right? Not at all. Because Alec uses a combination of AI tools, mid-journey for the design, Canva for templating, and then chat GPT for those tricky invitation wordings. It's like having an entire design and copywriting team in your back pocket. Exactly. And that multi-tool approach comes into play again with his third product idea, guides. Yo. This one really resonated with me because I actually used to sell real estate guides online as a side hustle. Really? Yeah. So I was really interested to hear what he had to say. I feel like guides make so much sense, though. They do, because people always want information, right? Always. Whether they're trying to learn a new skill or just figure out a complicated topic. So Alec uses ChatGPT as his ghostwriter Smart. to create these guides. Like, say you want to write a guide on beekeeping for beginners. You tell ChatGPT the key points, and it churns out the content. That's amazing. And you could do this for anything, right? You could create guides about vintage video games, urban gardening, restoring furniture. Anything. The possibilities are pretty much endless. But Alec has four more AI-powered product ideas for us to explore. Okay, I'm ready. And trust me, you won't want to miss these. Let's jump in. Okay, so we're back and ready for more of Alec's AI-powered digital product ideas. What's next on the list? So his next one is logo design. Logo design. I mean, that's a real design skill, right? Yeah, you'd think so. Yeah. But this is where AI really shines. It. It's making things like this accessible to everyone. Okay, so how's he doing it? Well, he's using MidJourney to create these really unique and professional looking logos. Okay. And he even shares some of his MidJourney prompts in the video. It's really interesting to see the level of detail he puts into it. Oh, I bet. Like he'll type in things like logo for a sustainable coffee roastery. Minimalist design featuring a black crow perched on coffee beans, earthy color palette. Wow, that's so specific. It's crazy. I mean, he even talks about how he deals with the whole alien text thing that Midjourney sometimes does. The alien text. Yeah, you know, where it adds those weird characters to the images. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that's always a little strange. It can be frustrating. <laughs> For sure. But he uses Photo P to clean it up. Exactly. <laughs> so even with AI, you still need some basic editing skills. It's true. You got to be able to tweak things sometimes. It's a good reminder that it's a tool, you know. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so 
he's creating these logos, but can you really make money selling them? Oh, absolutely. I mean, every business needs a logo. That's true. And a lot of businesses can't afford a big, fancy design agency. Yeah, that makes sense. So being able to offer affordable, quality logo design is huge. There's actually a shop on Etsy called Loco Lane, and they've earned over a million dollars selling logo packages. Over a million dollars. Okay, now we're talking. All right, so we've got logos. What's next? Well, he pairs the logos with something else, business cards. Oh, smart. So you create a logo for someone, and then you can offer them a business card designed to go with it. It's a natural upsell, right? Yeah. Increase that lifetime value of a customer. Exactly, exactly. But business cards, I don't know. It doesn't seem as exciting as some of the other stuff. I know. It's not the most glamorous product, but it can be surprisingly profitable. Really? Yeah. Ali talks about this shop called Trendy Fox Studio. They're selling business card design packs for like five bucks each, and they're making a killing. Wow. Sometimes the simple ideas are the best. And using AI, you can just create so many different options. Right. You can appeal to a wider audience that way. Totally. Okay. What else does he have for us? Okay. So his next one is something that I think we can all relate to, resumes. Oh, resumes. Just saying the word makes me anxious. I know, right? <laughs> Staring at that blank page, trying to sum up your entire professional life. It's the worst. So how does AI help with this? Well, there are already shops on Etsy like Get Landed that are making a ton of money selling resume templates. Oh, wow. Okay. But Alec takes it a step further. He uses ChatGPT to write the resume content. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so he makes sure it's tailored to the specific job description, makes it what they call ATS-friendly. Wait, what's ATS friendly? Oh, right. Good point. Yeah. Basically, a lot of companies use these applicant tracking systems to scan resumes before a human ever sees them. Oh, gosh, really? Yeah. And they look for specific keywords to match the job description. So your resume has to be written in a way that these systems understand. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, it might never even make it to the hiring manager. Wow. Okay. So ChatGPT can help you get past those robots. Basically, you can just give it a job description and your basic information, and it can help you craft a resume that highlights the right skills and experience. That's amazing. Okay, so ChatGPT handles the content. What about the design? Midjourney. Alex suggests creating a bunch of different templates using Midjourney. Oh, that's smart. So you're not just another resume in a sea of sameness. Yeah, exactly. No. All right, we've covered logos, business cards, resumes. Mm -hmm. Ready for his final idea. Hit me with it. This one is next level. He calls it selling mock-ups. Selling mock-ups? I know, it's kind of meta, right? What does that even mean? You know those product photos you see online, like a coffee mug with a really cool design on it? Okay, yeah. A lot of times those are mock-ups. They're like digital templates that let you showcase designs in a realistic setting. So instead of taking a picture of like my t-shirt design, I could have a mock-up that shows it on a model or something. Exactly. And you don't need to be a Photoshop whiz to make them. So you're saying like if I wanted to, I could have a mock-up that makes my, like, I don't know, my grandma's hand-knitted tea cozy look like it's in a magazine or something. Exactly. And it's not even that hard to do. Alec uses Midjourney and Photopea. Mm -hmm. He generates a basic image in Midjourney, like a blank t-shirt, a coffee mug, and then he uses Photopea to put his own designs on it. That's really cool. So he's basically creating the template. Yeah. But is there a market for that? Who's buying these mock-ups? Honestly, anyone who wants to sell a product online could use one. Mm. T-shirts, mugs, tote bags. A good mock-up just makes your product look so much better. That's true. It's all about presentation. Exactly. There's this Etsy shop Alec mentions, Ratty Tank. They sell mug mock-ups, and they've made over 88,000 sales. Wow. Okay, so people are definitely buying them. Oh, yeah. And again, you only have to create it once, and then you can sell it over and over. Passive income. It's amazing. It is. I'm like blown away by all these ideas, I have to say. It's really got you thinking, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, what's speaking to you the most out of all the products we talked about? Honestly, I love that resume one with ChatGPT. Right. That was a good one. That's a game changer, especially for someone like me who puts it off to the last minute. Me too. And then I'm really interested in the guides. Yeah, I like that one too. Creating content, sharing knowledge, that appeals to me. Yeah. It's cool that you can have ChatGPT basically write it for you. Right. You just have to give it the information. And then you can get creative, you know, with the design and making it look nice. Exactly. And I think that's something important to remember about all of this. Even though Alec is focusing on selling on Etsy, you don't have to limit yourself to that. Oh, for sure. You could build your own website, yeah. sell these products directly to businesses, even use them as part of 
like an online course or something? There are so many possibilities. It's really exciting to see what people come up with, especially as AI gets even more advanced. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive. We've covered a lot, but we want to hear from you. Have you experimented with any of these AI tools? What kind of digital products have you seen that blew your mind? Head over to our social media and let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Exactly. And until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and we'll catch you in the next deep dive.